Welcome to the Chevrolet Productivity Network's 1999 Passenger Car New Product Training Program. This trainer pack video is part of an integrated training and reference package that's designed to provide you with the information and resources you need to present the features, benefits, and value of Chevrolet passenger cars to your customers. The trainer pack videotapes feature individual product presentations for each 1999 passenger car. The segments focus on major selling points that are most likely to be of interest to your customers. You'll see the on-camera hosts demonstrate features and even use vehicle components and props to help explain designs and illustrate benefits. The manager's training guide that accompanies the video includes quizzes for each car line and thought starters for ongoing product training. This trainer pack also features an updated release of the popular Car Concepts Automotive Basics video program hosted by Pat Goss. Pat reviews key automotive systems and technologies, focusing on how things work and their customer benefits. It's especially valuable information if you're new to the car business. Your 1999 training package also includes an all-new Car Concept CD-ROM. The program combines text, graphics, drawings, and clips from the Car Concepts video, as well as interactive quizzes that allow you to study at your own pace either at the dealership or on your home computer. Every Productivity Network dealership has also been shipped in salesperson quantity the 1999 Passenger Car Product Guide and the 1999 Corvette Specialist Data Book. The Product Guide is a valuable learning and reference tool. In fact, Chevrolet's research shows that it is the most used training piece produced each year. It includes concise descriptions of features and benefits organized in the space categories safety performance appearance comfort and convenience and easy to own plus there are detailed equipment availability charts color and trim information and technical specifications your product guide is a great study tool and the place to quickly find the answers to customers questions the Corvette Specialist Data Book provides in-depth information about the car's engineering, technology, and specifications. It also explores Corvette's proud heritage and its mystique with the American public. During the year, Chevrolet will also keep you updated on late-breaking news through the monthly Inside Track video magazine. Inside Track complements this fall package of videos by offering more detailed competitive comparison information and added selling tips from retail sales experts. Also watch for the Inside Scoop newsletters and your 1999 comparison book all coming later this year. It's true that today's car buyers are more informed than ever before. Your 1999 Productivity Network training materials will help you keep your edge when it comes to presenting Chevrolet's passenger cars to your customers. On behalf of everyone at Chevrolet, we wish you the best of success for the 1999 model year. Metro has always had a reputation as the low-cost, high-fuel economy car that's great for first-time buyers and anybody else on a budget. But don't overlook how much value Metro has beyond just a low price and high MPG. Whether it's the maneuverable Metro Coupe or the LSI Coupe or the practical LSI sedan, Metro offers a choice of size, features, and functionality that's just right for any small car customer. For 1999, Metro adds a few new features that help it live up to its value-packed reputation. Two of them add to its impressive standard safety package. Safety belt force limiters are now utilized for the driver and front seat passenger. Force limiters help absorb some of the impact that occurs between a person's body and the safety belt during a collision. They work along with Metro's new next-generation airbags to help keep occupants safe in an accident. 1999 also brings enhancements to Metro's exterior, like these stylish three-spoke wheel covers that are now standard on the base coupe model. It's small features like this that you won't find on the base models of most competitors. 
There are also two new exterior colors available, dark green metallic and silver metallic. You could say that Chevy Metro is a car that's small when you need it to be small and big when you want it to be big. It's small when drivers want great fuel economy, maneuverability, and a low price. And it's big on passenger and cargo room, safety, and owner support. Let's take a look at how Metro's small exterior makes it an impressive value on the road. And that starts with its fuel economy. Whether it's the Metro Coupe with a one-liter three-cylinder engine, or the LSI sedan with the 1.3 liter four-cylinder. Metro boasts outstanding fuel efficiency. At 41 miles per gallon city and 47 miles per gallon highway, Metro's standard one liter engine with a manual transmission easily beats fuel economy numbers offered by the standard engines from Hyundai Accent and Kia Sophia. The 1.3 liter engine's fuel efficiency is equally impressive with 43 miles per gallon on the highway and 39 in the city. When you factor Metro's great fuel economy into a long commute to work or say a cross-country trip, you're talking about saving some serious cash. In fact, Metro can make a road trip from New York to LA on less than $75. In addition to outstanding fuel economy, Metro's found another time when it's good to be small in a crowded parking lot. Metro's compact size allows it to easily pull into tight parking spaces where other small cars might not fit. And that can be a real bonus in crowded parks or on a busy city street. Metro is also the right size for RV owners because it can be dinghy towed behind a motorhome and used once the travelers reach their final destination. That makes Metro a great fuel efficient choice for day trips or a quick run into town. Now we all know that when it comes to pulling a chunk of change out of our wallets, small is good. And that's why Metro is a great choice for budget conscious customers who want a well equipped vehicle for under $10,000. Metro's base MSRP is hundreds of dollars less than Kia Sophia and Hyundai Accent. Okay, saving money is great, but what about quality? Well, Metro owners will appreciate all of the quality that goes into the design and engineering of this car from bumper to bumper. Up front, Metro uses state-of-the-art headlamp technology called reflector optics. They produce a brighter and more focused light than traditional headlamps, and they also give Metro's headlamps this contemporary jewel-like appearance. And every Metro includes these five mile per hour front and rear bumpers. They're designed to meet twice the federal standard and help reduce damage that can occur in low speed impacts, saving your customers money on repair costs. You can also see Metro's quality in this frame under glass door design. Metro's engineers place part of the door frame under the edges of the glass to reduce wind noise and provide a stiffer structure along the roof line. Now I've told you a lot about how Metro's small when you need it to be small. Now let's look at the features that make it big when you want it to be big starting somewhere you might not expect, in the cargo area. There's more than 22 cubic feet of room back here. A full folding rear seat is standard on all metros, and a split folding rear seat is optional on sedan models. Either configuration allows owners to store long items like skis, sporting equipment, or even a mountain bike. And Metro Sedan's trunk has a low liftover height to make loading and unloading heavy or bulky items a snap. But this isn't the only place where you'll be surprised by Metro's roominess. Let's take a look inside. Metro's front and rear seating offers plenty of room for four occupants to stretch out comfortably. Even for an occupant who's six feet tall, Metro's big on the inside feel won't cramp your customers. And the extra interior space doesn't end there. A large glove box has enough room to hold a cell phone, the owner's manual, and several CDs. The standard center console includes a pair of cup holders, a storage tray, and a coin holder. And the door map pockets offer convenient storage for maps or sunglasses. For even more driver convenience, three different radio options are available. Owners can choose an AM FM radio, or they can add a cassette or CD player. And Metro customers will have a comfortable drive with front bucket seats with integral head restraints. Base coupe models include sport cloth trim, while LSI seats are trimmed in custom cloth. 
All seating surfaces feature standard Scotchgard fabric protection. In addition to protecting against liquid spills, Scotchgard also helps keep dirt from penetrating the fabric, helping make vacuum cleanups easier. Now, some of your small car customers might also be looking at a used vehicle as an alternative to a new car purchase. But you can assure them that they'll have many advantages with the purchase of a new Metro that they won't find in a used car, starting with Metro's impressive list of standard safety features. The used car lot probably won't offer your customers the proven safety technology of features like daytime running lamps or safety belt force limiters. Force limiters are included on the driver and front passenger safety belts for all 1999 metros. They're located in the B pillar. Here's what one looks like. In the event of a collision, this device allows the belt to extend in a controlled manner, so it absorbs some of the impact between the occupant's body and the safety belt. Force limiters are used in conjunction with standard next generation airbags to help protect the front seat occupants in a collision. Owner support is another sticking point for used car purchases. Most used car superstores can't match Chevy Metro's level of owner support. For example, Metro includes a standard three-year or 36,000-mile limited bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty and standard 24-hour roadside assistance that even covers locksmith service and fuel delivery. Many used car superstores also include vehicle warranties but they only last for a few months or a few thousand miles. Beyond that, their customers will have to pay hundreds of dollars for warranty coverage that's comparable to Metro, and their standard roadside assistance only lasts for one year from the date of purchase. Sure, roadside assistance is great, but what do you do when you need dealership services? Well, Metro's got that covered with its network of over 4,400 Chevrolet dealerships nationwide. By comparison, most Accent customers will probably have to travel quite a distance to reach one of Hyundai's 478 dealerships. And many Sophia owners will probably be in a jam when they need dealer services because they'll have to find one of only 302 Kia dealerships. Metro definitely is the value-packed car that's small when you need it to be small, with outstanding fuel economy, great maneuverability, and quality construction at a price that won't put a strain on your wallet. But Metro is also big when you want it to be big, with excellent cargo room and utility, comfortable passenger seating, a long list of standard safety features, and plenty of owner support. Prison's quality has been recognized time and time again by the automotive press, and last year was no exception, including a Best Buy nod from Consumer Digest and the Consumer Guide Automobile Book. National automotive writers Anita and Paul Leinert also gave Prism their approval by naming it as one of the top ten vehicles for 1998. But perhaps Prism's overall quality experience can be best demonstrated by this statistic. 97% of PRISM owners would recommend the vehicle to a friend. They appreciate and trust their cars so much that they're willing to risk their good names. That says a lot about this car. For 1999, PRISM base and LSI sedans carry on this commitment to excellence, including several new features that were added during the 1998 model year. These added features include standard front and rear stabilizer bars to help provide a firmer ride in cornering situations. In addition, the wider P185 65R14 all-season tires that were originally part of the handling package are now a standalone option. The up-level Prism LSI has also added as standard equipment air conditioning and an electronically tuned AM-FM stereo radio with cassette player helping give buyers even more value for their money. New for 1999, power windows are now available across the board on all PRISM models. 
It's a popular option many people like, but they don't always appreciate it when they have to buy a package or up-level model just to get them. For example, base Honda Civic and Nissan Sentra don't offer power windows as an option at all. Buyers have to upgrade to higher priced models to get the convenience of power windows. Finally, PRISM features four new exterior colors for $19.99, including dark blue-green metallic that you see here, as well as dark beige metallic, silver metallic, and dark carmine red metallic. Check your $19.99 passenger car product guide for all of PRISM's color choices. Of course, when you first think about the quality of a car, you think about how well it's built and its reliability. The award-winning PRISM certainly ranks among the best in these areas. But quality also means how well a car helps people live their lives, from day-to-day -day tasks to enjoying their free time to its fullest. Here again, it's tough to beat Chevrolet PRISM. No matter which model buyers choose, the heart of PRISM quality is its standard 120 horsepower, 1.8 liter dual overhead cam engine. It delivers more standard horsepower than both Honda Civic and Nissan Sentra. Buyers have the choice of teaming this engine with a standard 5-speed manual transmission with overdrive or with one of two optional automatic transmissions, the 3-speed automatic or the 4-speed with overdrive. PRISM's ride quality is brought to life with standard power steering and a four-wheel fully independent suspension that helps isolate road bumps and vibrations away from the passenger compartment, helping give PRISM the ride, feel, and comfort they might only expect in a bigger car. As I mentioned earlier, both front and rear stabilizer bars are now standard on all PRISMs. This simple prop illustrates the advantage of dual stabilizer bars compared to the single rear stabilizer bars that are standard on Civic and Sentra. Here, we've attached two crossbars between pieces of wood that represent the unibody construction of the car. As you can see, it creates a firm and stable structure. But when we remove one of the crossbars, the structure loses some of its integrity. In car language, this is called body roll. It's the physical force that naturally happens as you drive around a corner. Stabilizer bars help minimize body roll and help give the car a firm feel as you corner. You expect standard dual stabilizer bars on higher priced performance sedans. It's nice to know they are in Chevrolet Prism too. In fact, there are many standard and optional features on the 1999 Prism that people might not expect to find on a car in this price class and a surprising number of them are safety features, starting with standard daytime running lamps. DRLs help make the car more visible to oncoming and crossing traffic during daylight hours. They've proven to help reduce daytime collisions in Canada and European countries where they've been used for many years. Four-wheel anti-lock brakes are also available on both the base and LSI models. Honda and Nissan don't offer ABS on their base Civic and Sentra models. Buyers who want optional ABS are forced to move up to the more expensive models. DRLs and ABS are excellent crash avoidance features, but in the event a collision does happen, PRISM also has safety cage construction, front and rear crush zones, and side door guard beams to help preserve the integrity of the passenger compartment. Inside, there are also standard dual front next generation airbags. These airbags work in conjunction with properly worn safety belts, which themselves incorporate two innovative features. The first are pretensioners that snug up the belt when a crash is first detected. A small pyrotechnic charge is inserted into here. It fires at the moment of impact to help tighten the belts. Then, built-in force limiters help relieve some of the impact your body feels against the belt as it moves forward. The height of the front shoulder belts can also be adjusted like this to comfortably accommodate different sized people. Prism safety is further enhanced with the availability of outboard side impact airbags for the driver and front passengers. The airbag modules are built into the sides of the front seats and deploy in the event of a side impact to help provide further protection 
for your arms and shoulders. PRISM joins cars like Cadillac Catera and Volvo S70 with side impact airbags. On the other hand, Honda Civic and Nissan Sentra don't offer them at any price. In back, PRISM has three-point safety belts at all three seating positions. It's another one of those features that many competitors in the class simply don't offer. But safety is just the beginning of the quality experience people feel inside PRISM. Along with being smooth and stable, PRISM's ride is also quiet thanks to extensive use of insulation and sound deadening materials. Here's just one example. This piece is a small section of the engine compartment wall. You can see that it's a sandwich design made of two pieces of steel that cover an asphalt-like material. This material absorbs noises and vibrations from the engine compartment to help provide a quiet interior. The seats are also firm and supportive. They're comfortable whether you're driving across town or across country. The seats on base models feature an innovative sew pattern that's designed to help ensure long-term durability. Notice how there aren't any seams. The covers of the seat back and seat cushion are each made of a single piece of fabric. The process to manufacture these covers is called three-dimensional knitting. The fabric is knit by a computerized sewing machine that's programmed to follow the seat's contour for a tailored look. When a seat cover is complete, it comes out of the machine in one full piece with no seams. Here's an example of the cover that's used for the base prism seat back. It's actually one piece. The attractive appearance of the cloth seats and door trim on both base and LSI models are also protected with Scotchgard. Scotchgard is applied to the fabric during the manufacturing process. It creates an outstanding barrier against stains. Cleanups are quick and even dried stains are easy to remove. Additional convenience features standard on every prism include intermittent wipers, visor vanity mirrors with map straps, and a dual trip odometer. It allows drivers to track mileage for fuel economy and individual trips at the same time. The center console on this LSI includes a covered storage area that also doubles as an armrest. There's also plenty of storage room in PRISM's large glove box. The dual front cup holders can hold a coffee mug or juice container. There's also a rear cup holder for a passenger in the back seat. And if children are in the back seat, you can activate the rear door security door locks. When they're engaged, the doors can't be opened from the inside. PRISM's practicality also extends around back to the trunk. There's 12 cubic feet of cargo room back here, which is enough to fit these 14 bags of groceries. This low liftover makes it easy to load and unload the trunk. It's a small thing, but when you're loading 14 bags of groceries, you'll appreciate it. And it's not just good for carrying groceries. The trunk is fully trimmed to protect cargo, while LSI features a 60-40 split-fold rear seat with trunk pass-through that provides added cargo-carrying convenience for longer items. After taking a look at PRISM's numerous strengths, new features, and how it successfully measures up to the competition, it's easy to see why 97% of all owners would recommend PRISM's quality to a friend. It's a car you can stake your reputation on. Today's car buyers are smarter than ever before. The internet and numerous consumer publications provide them with a wealth of information that they can use to help make their purchase decision. And that's good news, because when you weigh the facts and compare value, Chevy Cavalier clearly stands above the competition. It's a smart car for today's smart buyers. For 1999, the Cavalier lineup again offers a choice of coupe, sedan, and convertible models. Each one of them, from the base coupe to the Z24 convertible, offers a long list of standard features. 
that, as Motor Trend Magazine put it, deliver an unusually high amount of goodness for each and every one of your precious bucks. Although there aren't any significant model or product feature changes to the Cavalier lineup for 1999, there are several subtle enhancements, including two new paint colors, a new dealer installed ashtray and lighter accessory package, and an available rear spoiler that gives a base coupe a sportier look. All of the 1999 model year updates are described in your new passenger car product guide. One key change to be especially aware of is the new seat trim on base models and the Rally Sport Coupe. The seat cushions and backs now have full cloth trim compared to the cloth and vinyl trim used last year. They also feature adjustable vinyl headrests. The new seats help give the interior a more appealing up-level appearance. The seat cloth, however, does not include Scotchgard fabric protection. This change applies to the base and Rally Sport models only. The cloth seats on LS sedan and Z24 models still have the Scotchgard protection. So why is the 1999 Cavalier such a smart choice? There really isn't just one thing you can point to or say to answer that question. Instead, it's the total Cavalier package. Big things and little things that when you add them all up, combine to give buyers what Money Magazine said is the most for your money. Cavalier's styling and design are important parts of its value. This coupe, as well as Cavalier's sedan and convertible, are smartly styled with aerodynamic body lines, flush mounted glass, and wraparound front and rear fascias. There are also little touches that help make a big difference, like standard full wheel covers and available body side moldings that help protect the sheet metal against door dings. All body panels except the roof are made of corrosion resistant two side galvanized steel, which is one of the reasons why Chevrolet can offer a six year 100,000 mile limited warranty against corrosion perforation. Cavalier is built to last. The paint is base coat clear coat and that means there's a protective clear coat on top of the color coat to help keep the finish looking new for years to come. Finally, Cavalier's five mile per hour front and rear bumpers help protect body panels from damage that can occur during low speed impacts in parking lots or at traffic signals. Five miles per hour is twice the federal government standard. But of course there's more here than just good looks. Cavalier offers buyers spirited performance and several low maintenance features that help make it a hassle free car to drive. The standard engine on base models, the Rally Sport Coupe and the LS Sedan is the 2200 four cylinder. It delivers 115 horsepower and 135 foot pounds of torque, topping both Ford Escort and Honda Civic for standard power. Z24 Coupe and convertible are powered by the 2.4 liter twin cam engine. Its multi-valve design helps it generate 150 horsepower. The twin cam is also available as an option on Cavalier LS sedan. Your product guide has complete powertrain specifications, including transmission availability for each engine and model. When you're presenting the powertrain to a customer, it's also a great time to talk about Cavalier's long life maintenance features. And these include platinum tip spark plugs, that don't need to be replaced for 100,000 miles. The orange Dex Cool engine coolant doesn't need to be changed for five years or 150,000 miles, whichever comes first. That's compared to the two year 24,000 mile service interval for traditional engine coolants. In addition, on Cavaliers equipped with automatic transmissions, the Dexron 3 transmission fluid is contained in a sealed system. It doesn't need to be checked or changed for 100,000 miles. Finally, the exhaust system components are constructed of stainless steel for long life. All of these features help create a sense of security about owning a Cavalier. And that feeling is further enhanced by Cavalier's safety design and long list of safety features. The safety package starts with these standard daytime running lamps. Daytime running lamps help make the car more visible to oncoming and crossing traffic during daylight hours. They have proven to help reduce collisions in Europe and Canada where they've been mandated for several years. 
DRLs aren't required in the United States, but as with all Chevrolet cars and light trucks, they are standard on Cavalier because of their safety benefit. Safety is also built into Cavalier's body structure. Like all cars, Cavalier has front and rear crush zones that help absorb the forces of an impact, as well as side door beams to help protect passengers. Cavalier also features an energy-absorbing engine cradle. In the event of a frontal collision, this section of the frame is designed to break away to create an added cushioning effect within the engine compartment to further help reduce the force that's transmitted toward the passengers. You might expect to find this kind of innovative safety engineering on expensive Volvo and Mercedes models, but once again, the affordable Chevy Cavalier delivers more than expected. The same is true for anti-lock brakes. Cavalier is one of the lowest priced cars built with standard four-wheel ABS. Ford charges $400 for anti-lock brakes on Escort, and Neon's ABS is $550. During hard braking situations, ABS automatically pumps a brake to prevent the wheels from locking. This helps the driver maintain steering control of the car. Here's a demonstration of a Cavalier with ABS and a Neon without ABS under similar conditions. After applying full brake pressure, the Cavalier driver is able to steer the vehicle around the obstacle. But the Neon's wheels lock up, and the car continues to skid forward. It's very important that your customers, especially those who've never owned a vehicle with ABS before, understand how to drive with anti-lock brakes. In hard or panic braking situations, they should press the brake pedal and maintain firm pressure. Let the system do the work. Traction control is another feature people might not expect to find on Cavalier. It's included with the four-speed automatic transmission that's standard on LS sedan and available on all other Cavalier models. In this demonstration, you're seeing what happens on a slippery surface when traction control is active and when it's not. When traction control is active, the car is able to pull away without excessive wheel slip. You can certainly understand the benefits of traction control for Cavalier owners who live in areas of the country where there's ice and snow in the winter but it's just as valuable in warmer climates. Anyone who's ever driven in the first rain after a prolonged dry spell knows how slick the roads can get because of the oil that's built up on the surface. Cavalier's safety and security story continues inside with dual front next generation airbags. And all airbags are designed to work in conjunction with safety belts Cavalier is also equipped with the PassLock anti-theft system as standard equipment. PassLock requires a properly cut ignition key to start the engine. If someone tries to bypass or break the ignition cylinder in an attempt to start the car without a key, PassLock disables the ignition system so the car won't start. PassLock is another one of those features that people might not expect on a car like Cavalier. But once they know about it, it helps to make Cavalier an even better value. Cavalier's interior also includes several standard comfort and convenience features that your customers will appreciate every day they own the car. All Cavaliers have a full center console with two built-in cup holders, and when you flip open the lid of the armrest storage compartment, there's a handy third cup holder that can be used by a rear seat passenger. For owners who smoke, a new ashtray and lighter are available as a dealer-installed accessory. In addition, an AM-FM stereo is standard on all models, and it includes a cassette player on the LS sedan and Z24 coupe and convertible. Two features that aren't so obvious to the eye, but both very valuable, are Cavalier's battery rundown protection and the rear seat heat ducts. The battery rundown feature shuts off interior lights if they've been accidentally left on for more than 20 minutes. It helps eliminate the hassle of having to get a jump start in the morning because you left the dome light on all night. The rear heat ducts, which are located under the front seats, help circulate warm air to the back. We've attached streamers to the ducts to show you how well the warm air flows. None of these features on their own are compelling reasons why somebody should buy a Cavalier. But when you start adding them up, one after another, after another, after another, 
the Cavalier value story keeps getting stronger. It's why AAA gave Cavalier its top car award for cars under $12,500, saying it delivers the best balance of performance, quality, and value. And we're not done yet. Around back, Cavalier has a roomy trunk with 13 cubic feet of cargo space. The cargo area is fully carpeted, and this not only gives it an attractive appearance, it also helps protect your belongings. Everything from cardboard boxes to your finest luggage from scratches and punctures. Coupes also feature this low liftover design that makes it easy to load and unload bulky items. And all Cavaliers have a fold-down rear seat back with trunk pass-through that provides even more cargo carrying capacity and versatility. No matter how you look at it, the 1999 Cavalier has a lot to offer. It has the styling, performance, safety, standard features, and versatility that will appeal to a wide range of people. But they all have one thing in common. They're all smart shoppers, and this is the smart car for them, the 1999 Chevrolet Cavalier. Some cars have gaudy styling that screams, hey, look at me. Some cars are so big, they need a beeper as a warning when they back up. And some cars are so small, the backseat passengers could easily rest their feet on the instrument panel. Now this is the 1999 Malibu. This isn't just some car. The carefully crafted Malibu appeals because it's the right size, both inside and out. It fits in well in the Chevrolet sedan lineup. It's 10 inches longer than the Cavalier and 10 inches shorter than Lumina. For 1999, the lineup remains intact. The base Malibu is the value leader, while the up-level LS adds the 3100 V6 engine, trim upgrades, and additional equipment that matches much higher priced sedans. Nineteen ninety nine brings some new additions to Malibu. A new larger air conditioning condenser improves cooling in stop and go city traffic. Malibu's already quiet ride gets a little more soundproof for nineteen ninety nine with several noise reduction improvements. The first set of changes helps reduce road noise in the cabin. The windshield is thicker. The front dash mat, front floor barrier insulation, and package shelf barrier insulation are all denser materials. All of these changes help prevent road and engine noise from entering the passenger compartment. The Malibu also has several front end improvements to reduce mechanical noise. These new inner front control arm bushings are now rubberized to help absorb sound. Also, rubber isolated inner tie rod ends and a rubber steering gear isolator help reduce steering and suspension noises. Buyers coming off a two-year lease will notice the quiet difference. The steering now has a tighter, stiffer, on-center reaction that translates to a stable, on-road feel. This Malibu features a new paint color, medium bronze mist metallic. There's also a new optional gold package with front and rear Malibu emblems, rear deck lid and instrument panel badging for buyers who want to personalize their Malibu. And there's a new version of the V6 engine that's only available in certain strict emission states. You'll find out more information about this engine and all of the new features in your 1999 Chevrolet Car Product Guide. Now let's take a look at what it is about Malibu that appeals to buyers, starting under the hood. There are two engines at the heart of Malibu. The base Malibu features a standard 2.4 liter twin cam four cylinder, which produces 150 peak horsepower and 155 peak foot pounds of torque. The 2.4's 150 peak horsepower is more than the standard engines in the Honda Accord, Ford Contour, 
Dodge Stratus, or Toyota Camry. In fact, it's at least 10% more horsepower than any of these competitors, many of which cost a lot more than a base Malibu. If that isn't enough, optional on the base and standard on the LS is the up-level 3100 V6 engine. It boosts peak torque to 180 foot-pounds. Now that extra torque is most noticeable when merging on the highway or passing cars. Regardless of the engine choice, every Malibu features a standard electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission with overdrive. It delivers smooth, consistent shifts, and the overdrive helps produce up to 32 miles per gallon on the highway, limiting trips to the fuel pump. Part of the quality feel of Malibu is the ride it provides. Now that starts with a four-wheel independent suspension that's tuned for responsiveness and comfort. Power rack and pinion steering helps give the Malibu outstanding quick response. It's also enhanced for 1999, giving it a tighter, on-center feel, adding to the driver's feeling of control. Malibu's beefy P215 60R 15-inch tires are standard on all models. These tires translate to a large contact area between the car and the road. Compare how much rubber the Malibu has touching the road with the Ford Contour Standard P185 tires. And when you add in features like standard front and rear stabilizer bars that help control body roll during turns, it's easy to see why Malibu has an exceptional ride. Now, part of a car's ride quality relates to how quiet the car is. On Malibu, there are numerous features that contribute to its quiet ride, and you really can't see most of them. For instance, these heat-expanding baffles are placed in the rocker panels and the pillars. During the paint baking process, the baffles expand and fill up crevices, helping to block out and absorb noise. And even though the Malibu has always had a quiet ride, noise reduction is improved in 1999 with the enhancements we've reviewed earlier. Malibu buyers are looking for quality. Here's a place where you can demonstrate Malibu's quality. The Malibu is built to precise specifications. That means that each of the body panels matches up to the other. You can point it out to your customers on any other places where the body panels meet. Each one of these body panels is designed to a variance of millimeters. To put that in perspective, a millimeter is about as thick as a credit card. Now what that means is the tolerance on each of the body panels, taillights, etc., is so precise that you won't be able to see a visual difference between this Malibu here and one in your showroom. Now that's precise manufacturing. Virtually all of the exterior body panels on the Malibu are two-side galvanized steel. Galvanizing the steel helps it resist corrosion from minor scratches and is part of the reason why Malibu is backed by a six-year, 100,000-mile corrosion perforation warranty. And topping the steel is Malibu's lustrous base coat clear coat paint. Besides an outstanding ride and quality throughout, one of the other main advantages of the Malibu is its room starting in the trunk. The trunk is 17.1 cubic feet, more room than Ford Contour, Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, or Dodge Stratus. In fact, the Malibu's trunk is larger than even the Ford Taurus. Now, 17 cubic feet. What does that mean to your customers? Many of your customers go to value clubs to buy everyday needs like paper towels, napkins, or other groceries the Malibu is capable of handling a large amount of groceries. If your customers are skiers or need to carry longer packages, the LS includes a split folding rear seat. Just pull these straps to release the seat backs. And for added security, this trunk lockout feature will prevent anyone from opening the trunk without the key. In the back, Child safety locks are standard and prevent children from accidentally opening up the doors. Malibu also has plenty of room for rear seat passengers. In fact, Malibu has almost 99 cubic feet of interior room. That's more than the Dodge Stratus and Toyota Camry. There are also fold-out cup holders for rear seat passengers, which are designed to hold juice boxes as well as coffee cups and soda cans. The rear passengers also benefit from standard rear seat heat ducts located under the front seats that will help keep their feet warm in cold weather.
The roominess, quietness, quality, and outstanding ride won't do it all. To be a great car, it has to have the features and equipment that a buyer wants at a very good value. Features like cup holders. There's one here in the console and another here to the left of the steering wheel for left-handed drivers. <laughs> Not many cars offer that feature. Air conditioning is standard. Your customers will pay extra for that on some cars. An electronically tuned AM FM stereo is standard on the base with a cassette included on the LS. Two CD players are available. One includes a dual playback radio with both CD and cassette. Standard on the LS and optional on the base are these speed controls mounted on the steering wheel to allow quick and convenient adjustments. The standard console includes a place to stow CDs and cassettes. And there's a spot for other items like your wallet or sunglasses. All Malibus feature standard dual next generation airbags, adjustable front shoulder belts, and energy absorbing retractors at all outboard seating positions. Variable intermittent wipers are also standard for added convenience in a variety of weather conditions. The Malibu LS adds conveniences like remote keyless entry, along with power windows, mirrors, and door locks, with a window lockout feature that prevents children from playing games with the rear power windows. All Malibus can also be upgraded with an optional sunroof for added ventilation and comfort. And because buyers wanted it this way, the Malibu's ignition switch is located on the instrument panel where the driver can see it clearly. Add to all of these features things like standard anti-lock brakes that your buyers would pay hundreds or thousands more for on an Accord or Camry, standard pass-lock anti-theft feature, standard daytime running lamps with automatic exterior lamp control, or battery rundown protection, which will shut off the interior lights after 20 minutes if they're left on. Some cars don't offer any of these features. Uh, but then again, this isn't some car. This is Malibu. Perhaps more than any other vehicle, Lumina is the essence of Chevrolet's commitment to value, safety, and a worry-free ownership experience. For 1999, the model lineup starts with the base Lumina, a vehicle that offers outstanding value with a long list of standard comfort and convenience features. The Lumina LS adds even more standard equipment, including 16-inch tires with aluminum wheels and four-wheel ABS, to name just a few items that add to the driving experience. And for the ultimate Lumina performance package, there's the sport-minded LTZ. Regardless of which model you choose, Lumina's mission has always been to deliver its customers the best value in its class. And for 1999, it will continue to offer more features for the dollar with the addition of new standard equipment. Power windows, electronic speed control, and a rear window defogger are all popular features that are now added to the base Lumina's already long list of standard equipment. And to keep the value story going strong across the entire Lumina lineup, the Lumina LTZ delivers power and performance that's on par with cars costing thousands more. LTZ's performance starts with a 200 horsepower 3800 Series 2 V6 that is now standard for 1999. It kicks out 225 foot-pounds of torque. The 3800 V6 is one of GM's most respected engines and has been recognized over and over again with awards from the automobile press. The 200 horsepower meets the road on 16-inch Goodyear Eagle performance tires mounted on machine-faced aluminum wheels. And to help bring Lumina LTZ to a decisive stop, it also has standard four-wheel disc brakes that are teamed with an anti-lock braking system for reduced brake fade and more controlled stops, even on slippery surfaces. Up front, 
LTZ struts use a special four-valving design that helps adjust Lumina LTZ suspension to road conditions quickly and smoothly. The sporty character of LTZ is also apparent inside. Front bucket seats are now standard, along with a center console with cup holder for added storage and convenience. No matter which Lumina model you choose, you're sure to get more for your hard-earned dollars than you will with the competition. And it all starts under the hood. Lumina's standard engine is the 3100 V6 with 160 horsepower. That gives Lumina an edge over vehicles like the Toyota Camry and Honda Accord that both come standard with four-cylinder engines and charge thousands extra for V6 power. And even though Ford's Taurus may come with a standard V6, it's less powerful than Lumina's 3100. Of course, the 3100 engine itself is a proven performer that's been used in literally millions of vehicles over the years. When it comes to keeping Lumina on the road where it belongs, engineers worked hard to take the routine out of routine maintenance. First of all, fluid checks and fill points are all easy to identify and access. But more importantly, Lumina was designed to go a long time between the driveway and the service bay. Platinum tip spark plugs are designed to go up to 100,000 miles before changing. And Lumina's serpentine belt features automatic tensioners, so belt adjustments are a thing of the past. Dexcool engine coolant can go up to 150,000 miles or five years, whichever comes first, before changing. While Lumina's suspension is lubed for life, and the exhaust system is stainless steel for added longevity. Even the transmission fluid can go up to 100,000 miles before changing under normal operating conditions. What it all means to customers is that over a two or three year lease, you shouldn't have to do much more to Lumina than change the oil, rotate the tires, and put gas in it. And that's what I call a true worry-free ownership experience. Oh, and one more thing. Of course, that standard V6 power is teamed with a standard four-speed automatic transmission for effortless shifting and easy driving. Now let's talk about another reason Lumina is a favorite among people who do their homework before buying a new car. That's Lumina's well-deserved reputation for quality, and it goes a long way to making the total ownership experience worry-free. You see, Lumina was designed from the outset to be rock solid. Engineers paid special attention to designing a body structure that wouldn't create unnecessary vibrations. The body structure itself uses large stampings of sheet metal that are robotically welded in all the right places. The door frame openings are made of single piece stampings for added structural integrity. And special cross members are actually stamped into luminous floor pan and help form the foundation of its unibody structure. A major contributor to luminous solid structure is the cross car beam. It's placed behind the instrument panel and spans the width of the car literally tying the right side and the left side together. It also provides excellent support for the instrument panel, steering column, and airbag components. The attention to detail during the original design and engineering phase, and once again during the assembly of every Lumina, goes a long way to ensuring a trouble-free ownership experience that can actually be measured. Since shortly after its introduction as a 1995 model, Lumina has perennially earned a place among the most problem-free cars in America. In fact, according to the 1998 J.D. Power Initial Quality Study, Lumina is the most problem-free car in the Chevy lineup and finishes well ahead of Camry and Taurus. In addition to offering a high level of standard features and a worry-free ownership experience, Lumina also has a great reputation for safety. For example, when it comes to the front and side impact crashworthiness, as measured by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Lumina gets ratings that are as good or better than any of its major competitors. Only the Accord does slightly better in rear side impact tests. That's a testament to Lumina's long list of built-in safety features. Lumina has built-in crumple zones that are specifically designed to help disperse energy and channel it away from the occupants inside. Crush points are built into the vehicle that actually help the sheet metal and body structure fold in a controlled manner. This crash test footage shows how the crush points help the hood and front fenders fold like an accordion. 
It may look severe, but all that folding sheet metal is actually helping to disperse the huge amount of energy that's generated in a crash. Lumina also has built-in side door beams. The beams are designed to help deflect glancing side impacts away from the occupants inside. On the inside, Lumina features three-point safety belts with these height adjusters. Safety belts are still your first and best line of defense in the event of an impact. And they should always be worn, even though Lumina has standard next-generation airbags for both the driver and front passenger. Of course, the best way to stay safe is to avoid an accident altogether in the first place. And Lumina has a long list of features to help do that. Daytime running lamps are standard and have been proven to help reduce certain types of accidents. The headlamps also have automatic exterior lamp control, so you know they'll come on automatically in low light situations. And also turn on the tail lamps and exterior lamps so other cars can see you more easily from the side and behind. Now here's another seemingly small thing, but not all cars have it, and it can really be a help in a panic situation. It's a wide full floating horn pad. And it means that pretty much anywhere you try to hit the horn, you'll find it. Of course, Lumina LS and LTZ come standard with four-wheel anti-lock brakes. And ABS is also available as an option on the base Lumina. ABS offers the added benefit of helping the vehicle maintain steering control under hard braking situations. Lumina also has a few security features specifically for the little ones. For instance, Rear door child security locks are a great enhancement. Simply activating a switch keeps the rear doors from being open from the inside. A power window lockout switch keeps the driver in control of all window operation. And dual mode seat belt retractors make it easier to securely fasten a child seat properly in the rear. When it comes to getting the most comfort and convenience items for the dollar, few cars come close to Lumina. Being comfortable, starts with having enough room to move. And with more than 100 cubic feet of room in the passenger compartment alone, Lumina has plenty of space for up to six passengers. Just to put that in perspective, Lumina's cabin can hold the equivalent of more than 100 of these cubic foot boxes. And that roominess extends to Lumina's trunk area too. With 15.5 cubic feet of space in the trunk, Lumina has enough room to hold luggage for a family or golf bags for a foursome, a claim not all cars can make. Of course, setting the standard in comfort and value goes well beyond mere space. It also has a lot to do with what you put in that space. And Lumina offers a choice of comfortable seats, including cloth, custom cloth, or leather, depending on the model and option selected. Cloth seating surfaces and carpeting are treated with Scotchgard fabric protection. And the great thing about Lumina's Scotchgard is that it's actually applied at the factory. By applying the Scotch Guard to the fabrics right at the mill, it offers outstanding effectiveness against spills and soiling. None of Lumina's competitors offer factory applied Scotch Guard fabric protection. Lumina also offers standard power door locks and power windows, tilt wheel, electronic speed control, intermittent wipers, rear defogger, air conditioning, AM FM stereo with seek and scan, theater lighting, cup holders and of course a four-speed automatic transmission and V6 power. I guess with all those standard features you could say that Lumina sets the benchmark for other cars in its class but for people who want even more in the way of luxury amenities Lumina offers a few options too. There's a choice of up-level radios that offer features like a cassette or a compact disc player. The up-level sound systems feature speed-compensated volume that actually increases the radio volume as the car speed increases. Steering wheel-mounted audio controls also are available. Your customers can also choose Lumina's dual-zone climate controls with separate temperature settings for the driver and passenger size of the car. It lets the driver and passenger select their own temperature settings and allows a difference in those settings. As you can see in this demonstration, the thermometer on the driver's side is reading about 30 degrees cooler than the thermometer on the passenger's side. It's the kind of feature that's a little more than expected for buyers who may not have considered Lumina in the past.
I told you a few minutes ago that Lumina really is the essence of what the Chevrolet brand promise has meant to millions of car buyers over the years. Lumina is a car that's packed full of value and designed to give a truly worry-free ownership experience, all at a price that's hard to beat in today's market.